Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams wrapping up their warm-ups just about set for action in the ACC. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll return it from the one. Looking for the corner. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Rivera's overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things. And today, they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Robinson picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 26 yard line, second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Again with the run, he makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Just throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. He's in trouble. Hit on the throw. He caught it. 
He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gets it. He's in space. And they push him out at about the 47-yard line. Jumped out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. That's a nice option play. From the 41-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Make the stop at the 43. There was absolutely no space for him to run. The defense did a great job of reacting there. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got the mic. 36, 36. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. That'll make it fourth and 14. Corbett, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Touchback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Nice run there. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. That'll bring up third and four. You like that? You like that? He's going to try and scramble. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 35. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Eight, 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 eight. Eight, eight. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. They come out on an empty backfield.
from the 43 yard line. It's second down. And he hits him hard at the 47. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Aaron and out long. He's brought down in the open field. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown and he hits the PAT Cantrell gets set to kick this one away he sends this one deep And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackled after decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. the 35-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 36. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36. Check three, check three. Check Let's go. Check three. Go. He's at the 40, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. the grab and steps out right away. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. So at the end of one quarter, the Seminoles in front, 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Good tackle there in space. Here's the eighth play of the series. Oh, 
caught. Open field. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's level at the one-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, Breaks it, and he's got the corner. Touchdown, Maryland! The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Maryland kicked this one off. Gathered in at the 6. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gets rid of it quickly. He couldn't hang on. Incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Stepping up. He's wrapped up for the sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. Brown is the punter. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 40 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. There's a strike complete. He's down. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 19. You'll get it again. They'll bring him down around the 18 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Here they come. He fires left side. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he 
he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of eight yards. Fourth down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Maryland could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 10-7, Maryland. Turner is lined up to kick this one off. Anthony from the two. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Rivera's play in the first half has been impressive, and that's the way he's played quarterback all season long and in this first half, too. But right now, he needs some help, Kirk, and I think he's about ready to go over the sideline and start kicking some fannies. I think he better, Brad. I think you're right. He's playing well enough for this team to win, but unfortunately, they're losing. They still have a lot of football left to go, and I'm with you. I think one way to try to get this team to turn it around is he's going to have to provide that leadership, maybe challenge him a little bit on the sideline, and, and definitely at halftime, and try to get him ready to go in the second half. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Florida State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Cantrell looks ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes, makes it third, third and three. three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. at the 31. You keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Corbett is back to receive. Corbett fields it at the 35. He's taken down at the 49. The Seminoles right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this. And let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on what they've done so far hasn't worked you've got to admire the coverage for being able to deny the home run ball so cleanly from their own 49 yard line second down Florida State is up by four Pressure. Loose football. 
and the defense is on it. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 26. The Terrapins taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. brings up an interesting situation. If you have faith in your kicker, then I'd take the three points here. Otherwise, I'd probably just give it to my halfback and let him put his head down and try to get the first. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Let's go, Brown, let's go. Let's go. Kicks up, and it's good. It is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's have a look at what's going on in Clemson. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Georgia Tech, they are relentless, just hammering away with that running game and the big offensive line and score touchdown. He'll return it from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. We've seen this defensive end shine tonight, Kirk. Well, Brad, he really has. And he's doing a good job at taking advantage of getting lower than the offensive lineman. So he's got the leverage, and he's just driving those offensive linemen back into the backfield to disrupt the timing for this offense. The thing I like is they're mixing up their looks, and they're doing a good job of making the quarterback uncomfortable. That makes it first and ten. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Florida State up a point. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 42. First down. the 25-yard line. First down. From the 25-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down at the 18-yard line. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. That'll bring, bring up second, second and three. three. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. Hey, hey, hey. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, FSU! the extra point. Cantrell has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions tackled after a decent pickup Lee gets seven yards on the play the Terrapins use their second timeout Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Run, 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 three, run, 50. Run, 50. Run, run. Another run. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Easy, 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 easy. out of bounds around the 30 yard line it's halftime and we've got a close one 21 13 FSU glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. Caught, and he 
steps out of bounds. Whitmore gained seven yards with a catch there. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. On play action. Going deep, lays it out there. And he's got it. Touchdown! They need to tie it up here. That's exactly why they're going for two. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 21-19. Turner gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 23. Kirk, this defensive lineman has made a statement with his play tonight. Is he in the offensive huddle? Does he know the snap count? I mean, the thing that's really impressing me the most is his ability to consistently get a great jump at the snap of the ball. It's getting to the point now where it's just men against boys. This offensive line can almost try to do anything that they want. The, the thing I always say is that when you're on recess and you're in eighth grade and there's this one big guy that nobody else can block and he's just bigger, stronger, and faster, that, that's, that's what a dominant defensive player can do to an offense. They just can't. There's nothing they can do to stop them. It's second and nine. Ball on the 24. Florida State is up two. He's under some heat. Quick pass. And they make the stop at about the 41. First down. four-yard line and they back up three yards on that play they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated them there it's second down now 13 to go ball on the 44 quick release oh had it knocked down around the 24-yard line. First down. Kill, kill. It's first and 10. Kill, kill. Ball on the 24-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Florida State with a two-point advantage. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Feeds it to the back. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Some daylight. 
tackle made at the six yard line. That's a game of three on the That brings him second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. He's hit and taken down. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That makes his third and goal. From the one yard line. Third down. They're crowding the line. Tackle just outside the goal line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That brings us to the goal. the corner. Touchdown, Florida State. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. And he converts the extra point. Cantrell looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Rivera's kept his cool after a bad first half, Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle, he got his teammates on the same page, and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable, and his talent I think it's through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. About six yards on that completion. I got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Throws in the middle. Here he goes! About three yards that time on the screen. Gain of three on the play. Third down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Come on, ready! Black shit! Hold on! He's taken down at the 40. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Play action. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a good gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Check 26, check 26. Let's go! He's at the 40. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. He's under pressure. Just throws this one away. Hey. 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. He makes it to the 35-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Ready? Ready? Run. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. The Terrapins are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. First and ten. Ball on the 22. They bring him down. Wow, I absolutely love this call. It's a bit of a risk here bringing a corner, but he got all the way in and got to the quarterback. A lot of times a defensive coordinator will call a blitz from the corner, hoping to just maybe apply pressure, but this time he got all the way in to be able to bring the quarterback down. That's a big-time play. This is the 11th play of this drive. Ready, run, run. Three, three, three. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up third and long. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Completes it across the middle. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. On play action, defense coming, heading for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Run down around the 21-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. to the 40 and they finally push him out at the 48 and they convert on third down big play here for the offense and it all starts up front the line did a good job of sealing their blocks and allowing the ball carry to almost break it there from their own 48 yard line first down and they get him in the backfield for a loss To around the 45. That's a deal. That makes it third and three. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He's at the 30. And he scores! Touchdown! And he adds 
the extra point. Maryland to kick. Anthony from the one. Across the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. To the 20. And he will score. Trying to go up by two scores. They line up for the extra point. Florida State up by eight. He makes the PAT. <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Corbett is the deep man awaiting the return. Corbett fields it at the 40. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Play action, under pressure. He throws right, big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. And for Rivera, he hits the 300-yard mark. Now, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. You can see when he throws the ball well, this team usually wins. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 52-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Florida State's going to take their first time out of the hat. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. complete and he stopped immediately from their own 29 yard line it's second down and down he 
goes at the 28 yard line. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it 37. He passes it. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that. Score they surrendered the last time around. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Number four. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. Just under two to go in the game. Wide receiver screenplay. They get a little sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. And he's tackled right away. Quick throw out to the receiver. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Looking for six over the middle. He got it. Touchdown. The Seminoles always knew that this kid was going to have a great career. Highly recruited. There's his first touchdown. I'm sure there's going to be many more. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. Get the football back. Let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. That'll make it second and seven. The spike will stop the clock. Third down. Third down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's going to go for the home run. And it's caught. It's on the ground. Defense says they've got it. And they do. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Caught, and he's hit immediately. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Launches it. 
Watch it all. Going deep. Oh, what an interception. Sheds that one. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 42 yard line. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 40 yard line. That'll make it 39. Lee on the draw. They'll bring him down at the 37. Well, that's a big time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 28 yard line. The Seminoles know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.